okay let's have a look here you're given a cubic and you want the derivative in completed square form so the derivative would be 6x squared plus 12x minus 12 take the 6 out that's x squared plus 2x minus 2 that's 6 times x plus 1 squared and then uh, minus 3 which would be 6 times x plus 1 squared minus 18 so 6 1 and minus 18 find when the f derivative is greater than the g derivative when is 6x plus 1 squared minus 18 greater than the derivative of g which is um, 6 uh, 36 I mean so 6x plus 1 squared greater than uh, 36 46 56 54 uh, divide by 6x plus 1 squared greater than okay so 8 that uh, 9 so that would be it's tempting to square root here but that's not really the proper way to do it it's easy to make mistakes here I'd say for just this expanded x squared plus 2x plus 1 minus 9 is minus 8 more than 0. Um, 4 and 2. x plus 4, x minus 2 more than 0. 2 minus 4 um, more than 0, so above, so x less than minus 4 or x more than 2. Diagram below shows a tangent to this curve at this point pi over 6. And basically where does the tangent cross the y-axis? So we have to get the equation of the tangent. But first we, we need um, something about the y-coordinate. So we know that x is pi over 6. So that means y is 2 times sine 2x, which is pi over 3, which is 60, which is root 3 over 2. So that's root 3. So that point there is pi over 6 root 3. The slope is the derivative, which will be 4 cos 2x at the point pi over 6. That's 4 cos pi over 3, which is 2. Um, so the equation of the tangent line is y minus y1 equals, why didn't that come out as a minus? Oh no, it is a positive slope, isn't it? Yeah. y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Um, and we want to work across the y-axis, so the x is 0. So y minus root 3 equals minus pi over 3. So y equals root 3 minus pi over 3, two decimal places. Can I type this in on my phone? Uh, let's try. One point seven three two zero oh, da, da 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 minus pi over three. Uh, da, da, da. Okay, I hope that's right. 